Scientists just figured out why bats don't get cancer, and it might point the way to human treatments too. Usually the size of an animal correlates to its lifetime, but bats can live for 30 to 40 years, decades longer than you'd predict from their size, and they almost never develop tumors. That is despite the fact that in lab tests, we find that bat cells are actually more susceptible to cancers as they only need two pieces of genetic damage to become cancerous, compared to the three to eight needed for human cells. So the question is, despite this increased vulnerability, how do they avoid cancer? Scientists at the University of Rochester found that the key to bat resilience lies in a tumor suppression gene called P53, often referred to as the guardian of the genome. It is responsible for detecting DNA damage and triggering apoptosis, cellular death, before a cell has time to turn into cancer. Humans have a copy of this gene too, but in about half of all human cancers, researchers found that it had mutated and no longer worked properly. Bats, though, carry two copies of this gene, a rare genomic duplication that makes their version of P53 especially potent. On top of this, bats' immune systems are also hyper-efficient and built to handle the metabolic damage caused by flight and capable of surviving some of the deadliest viruses on Earth, including Ebola and SARS. I did a deep dive on this that you can find below, but what this means is that they almost never get sick themselves, despite the fact that they do still carry a lot of viruses that can pass to humans. Their biology ultimately suggests that cancer and even disease aren't inevitable. Researchers are already starting to take some of the learnings from bat biology and apply them into medical interventions. Who knows, maybe this is how we get our first real Batman. Batman. If you like science and believe that bats have secretly been superheroes all along, follow for more.